everybody welcome back and in this tutorial i will show you how to wireframe in figma and we are going to be doing a three screen example of a mobile app what you see on the top is the high fidelity version and i'm going to show you how to create a wireframe of it with this plugin that i really really like that will also ease your work a lot now we will go over how to install the wireframing plugin and then we will get started with the first screen to wireframe our three screens we must first install this plugin so what i want you to do to install is i want you to click on this home icon and once you are here i want you to pick your community account instead of your personal account so you can search for plugins and files etc i'm gonna write wireframing and then i'm going to pick plugins and i'm going i want you to install the plugin called ink wireframe and i want you to press try it out and once it does you are gonna have it here and you will press run and once you run it you can close it now you can use it on your regular design files if you come here and if you press command slash on mac let's say command slash i can search for ink wireframe and it is available and this is how the installed version looks like we have a lot of elements that we can just drag and drop now we can actually begin wireframing the first screen thanks so much for watching this video and if you haven't already please click on the subscribe button below so that you will get a notification when i release new figma design videos so that you can become a better ui ux designer and let's get back to the tutorial so what i'm going to do is i am going to first begin by pressing f for frame shortcut and i'm gonna make this frame iphone 13 mini to match and i'm gonna name it sign up up wireframe and that's pretty good and then i am going to observe what the screen has so as the screen has basic text like the header welcome and some labels for the input fields we have three different input fields name email password and then we have a button so i am literally looking for some text and some buttons and input fields so those are the three different elements i will add i'm gonna press command slash and I will open my plugin in wireframe and I'm just gonna write input and I'm gonna pick the, this one and that's pretty good and then I'm gonna type button and I'm gonna put the button there and then I'm going to type let's say header nope maybe text and I'm gonna put the text there all right these three should be enough for the screen now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy and paste this is going to be welcome and i'm going to make this welcome to be heading and i'm just going to drag it and basically going to type here your name and i want this to be smaller so i'm going to pick the non-heading option now if you don't understand what properties these are for variants or if you even don't know what a variant is please click on the video card that is appearing above which will show you how to create figma variants then i'm going to get this input field that we have i'm going to remove this assisted text and then i am going to put it right here and i'm going to select both of these and I'm going to basically frame them with option command g and then I'm going to drag this one and drag it again because we have three different ones. And the first one is your name. The second one is your email. And the third one is your password, let's say. And I like it. And I want the button to not have any kind of icon. So I'm just going to remove any icon. And the button is sign up. So let's just type that. And that's pretty good and then I believe only the password input field has an icon to its right so it has a trailing icon and that's pretty good I think the one thing we don't have here that we can is the background this background image to show to let's say the high fidelity designer that there's a background image you can add for the screen in the production so what we can do is we can open the plugin again and maybe type image and i'm just gonna get the image here yep 
that's pretty good. I think I got double, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna put it here, stretch it to the screen till the end. I'm just gonna get this image to be inside here. That works. And maybe get here. And I'm gonna close all of these elements. And then I'm gonna put it here. And now it works, and I'm gonna make it a square. Oops, sorry, no art. And I'm gonna stretch it out. And that looks pretty good, okay. Uh, for our second screen, I'm going to do the same workflow. I'm going to look at the screen, but first I am going to create a frame. And I'm going to pick the iPhone 13 mini again. And I'm going to name this Explore Wireframe. And then I'm going to look at what we have. We have a status bar on top. We have a header. We have a search field. We have normal filters. And then we have a bunch of labels and images. So this one is a much more complicated screen. So I'm going to begin by, again, command slash, and I'm going to write status bar. I'm going to get some elements that I see repeating. I know we will need an image. So I'm going to get an image. We have a button navigation. So let's say button navigation here. That's pretty good. We have the image. We have text, so we will need labels. That's pretty good. And then we will have some filter. Do we have filter? We have some normal labels that would work. Okay, I think this is good enough. So now let's see if we can remake these screens. I am gonna stretch this to 375 and that is pretty good. Then I will use my first heading. I'm just gonna copy the text here to here and I'm gonna make this be a heading. And the sizing here doesn't work as well and that's okay. And maybe we need to also get the search. So does it have a search input? It does have a search one. That's pretty good. We got the search. And then we will have our filters here. We don't want any icon in them. And we can write Vienna, London, etc. Let's just get these. Maybe if we want to do a bit of a mid fidelity, we can indicate we want some radius here. Maybe 16. Yep, and that's good. And I will do like maybe, let's say here, maybe five labels and I'm gonna group them. I'm gonna frame them with this shortcut option command G and I'm gonna make this 16 and I'm gonna put it around center. So it should be around here. Okay, that's pretty good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get these images to be smaller maybe 60 and I don't want them to have art. I want them to be like this, maybe 90. What's the width of them? 108 to 156, okay. And that is a pretty good one. So I'm just gonna make this one maybe a bit smaller, maybe 156, that looks okay. And I'm gonna need also more labels. So I'm gonna fetch it from here, drag it. And I'm gonna type here favorite cities. And I'm gonna remove the heading option for this one. And then I'm going to duplicate the image rectangle with holding option. And I'm gonna make these a frame as well. Images, and I'm gonna get an auto layout to them and get it to 16 and I'm gonna center them I'm going to move myself here and we are going to get these images in. So let's put them there inside. That's good. And then I'm going to also group these. And this is favorite cities part. So I can duplicate this now. But before that, I will need a button navigation with only three icons. So maybe remove this one, remove that one and stretch it to 375 pixel and start with x0 that's pretty good all right that is so far working pretty well and what we are lacking is now other two cities i'm just gonna drag it here and drag it here and i'm gonna rename them topics on the rise topics on the rise 
And depending on the amount of detail you want to show, you really can really care about margins and paddings, etc. And you might not. Depends on how low fidelity you want to go and how fast you want to do these things. I am not going to worry about spacing much because I am assuming that this is to get the first level feedback about structure and not basically high fidelity design elements like its color or typography or spacing. And maybe get everything a bit lower here. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. Now for our last screen, I am going to press F to draw a new frame. I'm gonna pick this frame as iPhone 13 mini again. And I'm gonna observe, just like the second screen, we have a status bar and we have a button navigation, but then we have a image that is actually taking the full screen for the width and 30% for the height. Then we have paragraph, subheader, and we have the images for the avatars, the people that are going to attend. And then we have some small cards. Okay, that's, okay, that's doable. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this one and basically paste it. I'm not going to redesign things that I already designed, but I also now need an image. So I'm just going to type image. And I will also need an avatar image as well. I'm going to put the avatar around here later. And I will need some text. I'm going to put the text around here. And then I think I will need a card. Do we have a card? Yeah, I think I want a small card. All right, so that's, I think, pretty good. That should be doable now. So I am going to get this one to stretch all the way. I'm going to move myself here. This should be details wireframe. And I'm going to get this image first in the wireframe right there. And it should be under the status bar because we want the status bar to show. And it should not be art. It should be like this. And then we would have a basically a text there. So I'm gonna have this text copied. And nope, that's pretty good. I'm gonna grab this and this has to be a header. And then I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna copy this one as well. And I'm gonna make this black as well, not white. Yep, and this one should not be a header text. And then we have some icons and stuff. I'm gonna skip that part. I mean, we could also go as detailed as we can. Maybe we can look for the icons here. Let's say, I don't think this plugin has icons enabled. You can use like image and edit the image like I'm going to show you, but Maybe we can skip that part for now. Okay, then I am going to have a text again. That is going to be, oh, my bad. That is going to be about, and then it's gonna be a paragraph. So I'm gonna drag it again. And then I am going to pick a paragraph for this one. And that's too long. I'm gonna remove some text here. Maybe that much. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put it here. This one is, and that is pretty good. Okay. And then I'm going to have some text again for attendees. Then I'm gonna have some avatars. I want the avatars to be like the large, maybe even bigger, maybe X large. Yep. That's pretty good. And I'm gonna make a lot of copies of avatars here. Yep, and then I'm gonna maybe frame all of them with command option G. Gonna put auto layout to space down properly. And if you don't know how to work with auto layout on Figma, please click on the card above that will teach you as a video tutorial that I created a while ago. And 16 is pretty good. And then I'm going to add some, I'm gonna copy this text again. This is gonna be the attendees text. Yep, this is gonna be the attendees, and I need a card as well for this, this activity, this cost friendly, etc. So this should be around here. Yeah, 
and I don't want any kind of a buttons or a media or overline. I really don't even want my title to be there really. I don't even need a title, I just need this. And I'm just gonna copy and paste. That's pretty good. And yeah, I'm just gonna let it repeat. And I need a button as well, so I'm gonna fetch this button from there to here. And I will rename this as, come on, clicking doesn't work. We are having a bug a bit. Oh, come on. Okay, Figma is bugging a bit, guys. Yep, and that's pretty good. And then I'm gonna get all this frame. And I'm going to look at here. Maybe copy another one and get all these guys centered in the details frame. Yep, and I'm gonna get them around here, maybe even make them 12. And that looks pretty good. I'm not going to add text to the each avatar below here, but I certainly could. You know, I could just do this. Leslie. And I can, you know, just drag this. Yep, they can all be named Leslie's, etc. And yeah, that would work. And that is our third screen, guys. I'm just going to put it a bit down here. And that looks pretty good. Just going to carry all this. Oh, there are some elements that are outside of where we thought they were. Okay, we got to get them inside. Yep. Okay. Now we are working. This one also, uh, oh, a lot of these texts. Yep, now it worked, okay. And that's our third screen, guys. I think it looks pretty good. That is how you can use the Ink Wireframe plugin to actually wireframe a mobile app very fast. Now, before you go any further, I actually added two videos to the end of this video that I believe will help make you a better UI UX designer on Figma. Please watch either of them if you haven't already. I believe they will improve your design skills a lot.